Starbucks spent decades perfecting the third place, a cozy spot between home and work where people paid for more than just coffee. Just coffee couldn't be that expensive, right? But lately something's changed. Sales aren't what they used to be and traffic at their stores has flattened. And inside Starbucks stores, some of their biggest decisions aren't made by baristas or managers anymore. Since 2019, an artificial intelligence called Deep Brew has been calling many of the day-to-day -day shots for Starbucks, a move meant to make operations smoother and lighten employee workloads. Instead, it's quietly reshaped the heart of Starbucks business. Today we'll uncover how Starbucks gave up control in their identity to AI and why their plan backfired so badly that now they're scrambling to fix it. Let's get started. By the late 2010, Starbucks had a problem. Scale. 30,000 stores, hundreds of thousands of employees, millions of customers, all expecting a quality Starbucks experience. But the systems behind it, scheduling inventory promotions, weren't built for that kind of weight. Managers were left to juggle dozens of variables, which is a lot to put on somebody who probably doesn't view this as a long-term career. And small mistakes, like a morning being overstaffed or an empty shelf at lunch, cost Starbucks millions at scale. So Starbucks turned to DeepRoo. DeepRoo absorbed millions of data points, sales histories, foot traffic, weather forecasts, and produced fully optimized schedules, recalibrated by the Hour. For inventory, it forecasted exactly how much milk, syrup, and pastries each store needed. Instead of blanket promotions sent out to their customers, it personalized offers. A cold brew coupon when temperatures spiked, a latte nudge when you hesitated on the app. Literally things no manager would have had the time to do. But while it solved operational headaches, it quietly put Starbucks on a new path, one it didn't understand fully yet. At first, it looked like Starbucks had solved its biggest problem. Rewards membership climbed to 29 million active users, up 13% year over year, driven at least in part by Deep Brew's personalized marketing, and it had helped Starbucks survive the pandemic, recalculating forecasts daily as lockdowns shifted and consumer behavior changed. Their AI, along with their other tech, worked so well that executives at Starbucks thought they didn't need as many workers. CEO Steve Nichols said, over the last couple years, we've actually been removing labor from the stores. I think, with the hope that equipment could offset the removal. And this wasn't just the AI's fault, but their store started to feel less personal, less coffee shop, and more corporate. The small moments that once defined the Starbucks experience, a misspelled handwritten name on a cup, or a few extra seconds spent getting your order right, began to disappear. The very things that built Starbucks brand were getting optimized out by technology. Starbucks couldn't help but notice, not just in the quarterly numbers, but also in the stores themselves. Traffic growth slowed, in-store visits flattened, customer satisfaction scores dipped, and in key markets like the US, transaction volume of the number of customer visits began to fall. For a company built on loyalty and repeat business, this was alarming. By 2024, Starbucks announced they'd be reversing course with a Back to Starbucks comeback campaign. They weren't necessarily reversing course with AI, in fact, they actually doubled down on it. But they have brought back some of their classic practices. Handwritten names and personal messages returned to cups, not as an extra, but as a policy. Self-serve condiment stations came back, ceramic mugs reappeared for customers who stayed, and in its messaging, Starbucks started to talk about going back to its roots. To what made it feel different from other coffee chains in the first place. And in their campaign, they've begun to hire more baristas to work at their stores. They've returned to in-cafe refills for non-members and introduced a new algorithm that sequences order for baristas so that they know the optimal order for creating drinks. Their CEO says that this should help baristas complete in-store orders in four minutes or less and online orders in 12 minutes or less. He also said Starbucks would be relying more on staff and less on broadly rolled out tech equipment. So they haven't completely abandoned Deep Brew. And they shouldn't have, but for a company founded on a low key quality coffee shop feel, making its whole identity about tech and optimization pulled it too far away from what made it successful. Instead, now it's trying to course correct by using new algorithms and modern tech without making it its entire identity. If you found this video interesting and you'd like to see more on corporate tech in the future, please consider subscribing. This is Tyler Dutchover, thanks for watching.